Monday and I'm living intentionally and I didn't have an intro to my last video because I just woke up but this is the uh, part two and it might actually stand alone for my first video but what we're talking about here is um hmm gosh trying to summarize to figure out a title is like so hard because it's essentially where no I don't know it, it's um everyone is you you are you are everyone everyone is you um if you do harm you do harm to yourself and um if you love yourself if you love other people you love yourself um and there's 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 so many pitfalls because we have um this uh presence which is um just a, a parasitic entity, and, and I was trying to uh, talk about that in my last video, um, speaking of the relationship where I was physically, mentally, emotionally abused and raped by someone. Um, that someone is, is just an expression. The pain they caused me is just an expression of our contact energy, um, a, a, a consciousness that just seeks to bring people out of the vibration of love and light because it does not serve them so anyway uh now back to what i'm reading like it, the video cut me off so this is just like can my can i continued talking but the video like there was no more there was no more so i just spit this yo oh i guess i should have live streamed uh i just spit this yo like the moment i awoke my perspective shifted into this perfect understanding and clarity it's profound profounder still that i captured it in exactly the time allotted by my limited smartphone device so um, it's all happening very quickly for me, and I don't know why I feel so pressed to get it out there, like I'm trying to beat someone to the punch, like, ain't nobody talking about this! Ain't nobody talking about stuff I'm talking about! Like, seriously, like, no one, <laughs> like, 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 you're not gonna, you're not gonna hear this anywhere. I, like, you're not gonna hear this anywhere. Like, this is, this is news. This is new information. Um... If, if you know this, then, like, let me know, because as far as I know, nobody, nobody is doing this work. And, um, yeah, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Urgency. So I decided, I decided this gross guy was a mirror and mere tool with which I could better myself. This atheist person who was hanging on to me because of his lustful appetite got this miraculous opportunity to evolve and be his best self. He got a taste and he turned it down. Now most people aren't ready to see what I show them. But when I was in it, living it, I sculpted my reality and truly did believe that if he could grow up, essentially, then he and I could have a lot of good, clean fun as platonic soulmate life partners, i.e. friends. Because <laughs> remember, soulmate is not about romance. That is the deception. That is the, like, that's the evil of it. Soulmate, not about romantic entanglement and, and, you need to have that awareness <laughs> uh, and not be a slave to your libido. Otherwise, you, it's, just, it's just badness. So my belief in him elevated his consciousness, but on his end, he still wanted to possess and penetrate me so he could be high vibing in, in one instance it, during a certain encounter that we had and act like a totally different person than who he really was was. So, by the way, something you should know is that everyone already in his life, his family members who knew him all his life, his entire life, uh, <laughs> told me that they did not know who I was talking about. They were like, this, like, like my, like him, n like he's nice and like, you're kidding me. Like, he's, like, trying to change his diet and quit smoking. Like, this is BS. Like, this is nuts. Like, I don't know who you're talking about, girl. But, like, like, they definitely let me know. They definitely, they definitely provided that, that key, uh, puzzle piece that now, now I will definitely meet the people that have known any person who is, like, interviewing for position to be, um, adjacent 
and receiving my love, I will definitely explore what they're generally perceived as. Because here's the thing, uh, ha ha. He could rise temporarily to meet me on my plane of love and light, but he could not maintain the vibration. He couldn't steady himself in love energy and just be a good person. He had multiple addictions. He was a shoplifter. He was a drug addict. He was a smoker. He was someone who was used to advancing on women, not giving them an opportunity to say no or yes, just making moves and engaging in a sexual context like like Louis C.K., like that level. Like, hey, look, here it is. What do you think of it? Like, like, it's just so, just so obvious, just so obvious that, that this is someone who is not operating from love and light. Um, addiction is a huge clue to you and to me that a person is not worth your time um, or not worth very much of your time. Addiction increases the likelihood that the unconscious addict will be body jacked by a force that seeks only to traumatize you. An addict has the potential to house a soul, so if you focus on one, you can kind of tune in your soulmate and do soul work. But these aren't the people to settle down with. These aren't the people to invite into your home. If you give someone an opportunity to become their best self and they turn it down, then you can double down on that soul contract and more rapidly usher the entity that wants to eat your light towards the exit. Um, but that's, that's like... That's hard. That's hard living. Like, if you, if you invite someone into your home, if you, like, engage in, in this, if you invest in them, whether that means, um, sexual or not, um, you can, you can have a, you can have a contract with someone and it not be sexual at all, consensually sexual, um, and you will absolutely create a contract with someone by having sex with them. And that's just an aside that you need to know about how to function. Um, I sincerely loved this guy platonically and wanted him to be capable of the, the change that he expressed wanting to, uh, enact in himself. Um, he wanted to be a better person. He wanted to eat better and stop smoking and lose weight and get a good job and just stop looking at life through the eyes of this cynical atheist. Like, he hated people. He, he, like, just, like, mind-fucked people, like, whenever he could. He was on a total power trip. Like, like, he expressed that he didn't want to be that ugly person anymore, but, meh. So, um... I, I definitely saw that potential in him and that potential exists in absolutely everyone because you're looking in a mirror at the light within you. But um, I also had a soul contract that superseded the one I had with him. I had uh, not just a sexual soul contract, but what I believe and still believe is my twin flame uh, experience and, and is not a, a uh, soul mate is something, like, so far beyond that, uh, because soulmates are all I do. I only do soulmates. I've never, I've never done it another way. I don't have casual encounters. I do not engage with the general populace, uh, lightly. I do not lower myself to, uh, this plane and engage with entities, um, that seek to, uh, eat my light, and, um, that's just... Yeah, that's most, that's just most of them. That's just most of them. So, like, am I, like, holier, higher, like, up on a better than, than you fucking ego trip? No. No, I just understand reality. So, you can, you can deal with that or you can, you can hate me and think I'm a haughty bitch, but, um, I'm a haughty, I'm a bitch, but I'm so much fun. No, I really, <laughs> I, um, it's not like that. It's not like that. And, uh, yeah, I, I really... I, I sensed that he was compassionately engaged and, and um, well, when he was in when we, when he was compassionately engaged, he, uh, he, he understood 
what I was saying. Like, on like the deepest level like like you can you like i could just like see the like whoa like his mind blowing up and and all of the and and he would sit and be like oh my god like examining his bad experiences his traumas like he would sit and 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 he would be like oh my god and i understand this and 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 like like now i understand i i like, like, like he gained so much perspective of his past and healed so much just in talking with me, um, that, that I really, you know, i I felt relatively confident in, in that potential, but I'm telling you that potential exists in everyone because everyone is a mirror that you are looking into. And, um, he wasn't able to, to just embody, uh, the energy that, that I flow with. Um, so when he was compassionately engaged with me in the present moment, one-on-one, he could grasp what I shared of my perspective as a conscious co-creator. Um, and when, but he was a normal husk person, um, the other times. And, uh, when he sensed the, uh, the soul connection, the soul mate connection, he would, uh, he would sense the soul contract that supersedes his, and it would cause him to fly into jealous rage and be suspicious and distrustful of me and my intentions. So I had a choice. I I always knew I did because I always examined my choices carefully. When you live as I have, making choices between rocks and hard places, it gets easier to look closely at very unpleasant and unwanted realities. What I'm telling you now is that the Lee is where you choose for it to be. That is very personal. No one outside of you can make these choices for you. Sometimes it will look stupid and feel wrong logically and become extremely uncomfortable. In order to do this effectively, you need to be present. Practicing mindfulness. Seek to do no harm. Remember that harm to another is actually harm to yourself. That that everyone is you effect of things is like so important and like un- like the 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 mere mere entity like it can become an archontic presence but that's because you can house archontic energy because you're human and that's just like that's the pitfall of it that's the choice that you have so <clears throat> um remember that harm Remember that harm to another is actually harm to yourself. Even including harboring negative energies or emotions. And addiction is forfeit. Addiction is self-abuse. And it makes you a pawn in someone else's game. I disagree highly with a wide belief. I believe that you are not an addict unless you are actively engaging in the energy of addiction. Addict means you are subcontracted. Someone can make it through addiction and need to employ mental programming to stay clean, but those people are rare. Your highest self isn't going to guide you to become an addict, so don't fall for that trap and think that choosing addiction is your hard road. It isn't. It's not actually difficult to be a parasitic slave to a biological drive. Your first prerogative is expansion of consciousness. So being non-conscious doesn't serve you. It serves us, the lights, like me. You become a mirror for someone else to look into. And because you otherwise serve no purpose, you will be puppeted to stand in front of the very person who you can benefit most, like me. A lot of people are afraid to look in that mirror. Not I, said the cow. This is a staring contest I'm going to win because I may blink. We all falter in our vibration. It dips from time to time into fear and victim energy, but I don't sleep and I don't run. (laughs) As long as my life is not in danger of being ended by the mere entity, the contract is valid. Push me and I push back. Push me and your life takes a hit. Or hit me and your life takes a hit. In my experience, usually in very obvious ways that could look like misfortune, finding you. When I'm looking into a mirror and recognizing that I am the mirror of them, presenting their petulant resistance to doing soul work simply because I offer the opportunity from the highest level of order, love. Well, the rebound from hurting me, then it comes back around on them quickly. Uh, For this reason, people will consider me a witch and be suspicious that I'm up to no good. Uh, 
that I'm unlucky or a cancer's blight in their path. Seriously, the bad luck you might experience if you do me harm uh, will point to me really hard. I really didn't do anything upon the physical plane to harm you. I know through and through that everything you do that hurts me is because you are hurting and because you are ridden or possessed by a need to cause pain simply because you don't yet know how to be a conscious co-creator of love and light. I know through and through that any time I seek to bring harm to another person is an expression of self-harm. We are constantly looking in the mirror at ourselves or for ourselves. And that distinction makes all the difference in how your life will be played out. So, if you dig my vibe, subscribe. That's all I've got for today. I've also got a headache. And I'm just going to, you know, do self-care and lay in the dark for the rest of the day. Or, you know, for five minutes. I don't know. Stuff passes. Like, the the chronic illness, invisible illness, so random and transient. Like, oh, it's hilarious but um thank you for watching uh thank you for participating in the reality in which you are uh, open to uh embracing your new best awesome self who operates in love and light and just feels like all of the goodness all of the time that is so exciting welcome and um <laughs> Yeah, if you dig my vibe, subscribe. Uh, love and light. Bye-bye.